Defense contractor gifts politicians $50,000 as they debate aid to Ukraine. According to a new filing with the Federal Election Commission, one of the country's largest defense contractors, Raytheon Technologies, distributed more than $51,000 in contributions to members of Congress and partisan political action committees in April as lawmakers debated sending a new round of weapons and other military aid to Ukraine. Raytheon Technologies manufactures Stinger missiles, which are being used by Ukraine to shoot down Russian planes, and also co-manufactures Javelin anti-tank missile systems with Lockheed Martin. Raytheon Technologies gifted the money to legislators throughout April as Congress debated more than 10 Ukraine-related proposals. Specifically, the contractor contributed to the campaigns of more than 30 members of Congress, as well as several political action organizations and national party committees. Eight of the 30 members of Congress receiving the gifts presently serve on the House Armed Services Committee. Additionally, in April, the arms manufacturer also gave $15,000 to the National Republican Senatorial Committee and $2,500 to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The spending of Raytheon Technologies by its Political Action Committee, PAC, fluctuates from month to month. During April in election years, it has spent anywhere from nothing at all to the low six figures. In addition to contributions through its PAC, Raytheon Technologies spends millions of dollars each year directly lobbying the federal government, including Congress, on policy and regulatory issues. According to federal data provided by a nonpartisan research firm, Raytheon spent roughly $3.5 million on federal lobbying activities in the first three months of this year alone. At the same time, 20 members of Congress individually have invested in Raytheon Technologies or Lockheed Martin through purchases of stock, the price of which has nearly doubled in value since the March 2020 stock market meltdown. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps others find our content. And please visit Econobits.com for additional news, information, resources, and references.